Through this lab, we're going to investigate um, the purpose of buffers. And to do that, we're going to look at how buffers affect pH. Um, I have two beakers here. One is labeled water, one is labeled PBS, which is um, a phosphate buffer that's used very frequently in biological experiments. I have 100 milliliters of water. I already dumped that into my first beaker. 100 milliliters of PBS. I'm going to dump that into my second beaker. Um, and in order to change the pH, we're going to use 0.5 molar HCl, which is a pretty concentrated acid. Therefore, I'm going to make sure that I wear gloves while I conduct this experiment. I have a stir bar in the bottom of each beaker. Um, so I'm going to put my first beaker onto my hot plate. I want to make sure that I turn on the stirring portion. Again, this is just to make sure that everything gets mixed when we add the acid. Okay. Since I'm dealing with a pretty strong acid, I'm going to put my gloves on just to keep myself safe. And we're going to add 20 drops of acid to the water and we're going to use this pH meter to determine how um, the pH changes. So you're going to need to record these measurements through the 20 drops. So I'm going to rinse off the pH meter using distilled water, stick it in, and we can get our first reading. Okay, so again, this is distilled water. You want to make wait for that reading to sort of stabilize before you record it. Still is figuring it out. Okay, I'm going to add my first drop of acid. has already drastically decreased there. Okay, I'm going to add my second drop of acid. my third drop of acid. My fourth drop of acid. Next drop. Okay, next drop. Next drop. Next drop. Next 
next drop. 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 And last one. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing with the PBS and see if we see the same decrease in pH. We definitely expect the pH to decrease because we are adding an acid. Okay. 